Hey, what's up you guys? Thanks so much for joining me again for more Lizard Booty special time. It's really great to have you guys. For today's video, what we're going to be talking about is common mistakes bearded dragon owners make. The first one really is the biggest because all of them kind of go together, but number one is by far the most important. However, before we do that, I did want to shout out my channels. If you guys want to go follow us on our social media, so you should check out our Instagram and Facebook right here. Go ahead and subscribe, like, share, whatever you want to do. So, let's get into number one. So, number one would have to be not doing your research and not asking enough questions because what I feel a lot of bearded dragon owners do is they don't ask questions. They just get a lizard, they expect it to be almost like a hamster. You just feed it something and you know, it's fine. You don't have to do anything else. However, it's very, very false. There's so many things that go into little bearded dragon babies and you should do your research and you should ask questions. Even I still am learning new things about them, their nature, all those things, because they are such complex little creatures. And honestly, it's almost like bringing a newborn home. You need to be prepared. You can't, you can't go get the lizard, bring them home, and not already have the equipment. You need to have everything ready before you get the lizard. <laughs> Number two would be not paying enough attention to them. They are not a fish. <laughs> you cannot just leave them be and they'll do their thing. You have to give them attention every day. You have to take care of them every day. They're not exactly like a newborn, but honestly, they can be just as a uh, <laughs> just as complicated and time consuming. Um, not in the worst way. Oh. Not in a bad way, I'm gonna go put her back. My point is, is that you have to pay attention. You have to learn their characteristics. This goes into doing the research. <laughs> because if you don't do the research, you're not gonna know what to look for. So it's gonna be hard to pay attention because you don't know what you're paying attention to. <laughs> so it's really good to do your research. It's good to pay attention. You have to pay attention to things. Um, because honestly, if you don't pay attention, you're not going to know if they're sick. They are really, really good at hiding it. So you have to know your lizard. And you also have to know their body language. All part of paying attention to the animal. One of the common mistakes owners make is feeding them the wrong things. Like, I can't tell you how many people take the dragon home and don't know what to feed them. Again, routing back to number one, do your research. <laughs> And you'll know. I have seen horrible cases of dragons being fed canned chicken and like ham and all of this other stuff that they should just not be fed. They don't get fed meat. They're omnivores. They eat bugs and they eat vegetables and plants, greens, all of that. So you need to know what is good to feed them. Again, going into the research, look it up. Like it's it's everywhere. Just go to Google and type like type in what's the best thing. Start from there. You just need to do the research on what to feed them. It's not okay to feed them wrong thing. Like you should be prepared for it ahead of time. Is what I'm trying to say. And final mistake that dragon owners make, at least for this video, is not having the proper setup. And that happens a lot because honestly people are still doing research. The proper setup is forever changing. Just do your research. Figure out what's the best setup. There's so many different um, theories on what's the best substrate, what's the best this, what's the best that. And one thing that you need to understand is every lizard is different. Okay, so for example sand. They say you should not put sand as a substrate because your dragon will eat it and it'll cause compaction. That doesn't happen to every reptile, um, for example, or every bird dragon, for example. I know people that have sand and they haven't had no issues. However, the thing is, is they don't feed on the sand. They have different areas for the dragon feed. So it depends on your dragon, I guess. Mine could not do sand because no matter what, <laughs> they always ate it, like just licking it, whatever, they always ate it. Again, do your research. <laughs> And you won't have these problems. Alrighty, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And from my family to yours, have a wonderful, wonderful week.